Hello everybody, Hoodie Cobra Commander 788 here. First, I'm sorry that I am backlit by these windows behind me, but right now this is the only place I have to shoot, so we're just gonna have to live with that for right now. Um, this is the unboxing video for December 2018, uh, where I will show you everything I received from viewers this month, everything that was sent to me by you guys. Um, and uh, the reason we're doing this is because um, uh, for the last few months, I have done these unboxings in the weekly live stream. Um, and that was fun. It kind of added a fun element to the live stream. But um, in the live stream, somebody asked, you know, where are the unboxing videos? Well, that's a very good point. And if you're going to send something to the channel, I think it actually deserves uh, more of a spotlight. I think it deserves to be in its own video. Uh, like this one rather than just being rolled into the live stream. So I apologize for that um, I think that if you send something to me, it deserves to be seen. It deserves to be in front of the camera. So um, We're going back to doing a monthly unboxing video uh, showing everything that I received for the month um, one also one update Starting at the beginning of next year, so starting in 2019, I am going to get a post office box uh, for everything that you guys want to send to me. Um, so that should make it easier if you want to send something to the channel. Um, it'll just be a lot easier to do. So look for that within about a month or so from now. Um, I should be able to uh, post the uh, or give you the post office box number. And so if you want to send something to me, that's where you will send it. Um, and as always, I want to make clear that you do not have to send anything to me. You should never feel obligated to send anything to me. Uh, I don't ask you to send anything to me. Um, but uh, a lot of you folks have been just very generous and wanted to help the channel out, uh, wanted to help the channel grow, uh, and uh, just make it easier for me to make videos. Uh, so. Uh, you've been very generous and you've sent stuff to, stuff to me and uh, first of all I appreciate that thank you very much um, and if you're gonna send something to me then I'm gonna put it in front of a camera so everyone can see so um, that just as a way of showing my appreciation so thank you to everyone who has helped with this channel thank you to everyone who has donated um, it's greatly appreciated so um, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you some stuff that was sent to me this month. I am going to start with this from Troy Smith. Uh, Troy Smith actually sent me his family Christmas card, um, which is really cool. Uh, the Smith family and uh, a really nice um, family letter uh, with the Christmas card. And it was very nice of, uh, of Troy to think of me and uh, send this to me and just remember me around Christmas time and send this to my family. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, thank you, Troy. And Troy has helped out in a number of other ways uh, with the channel. Uh, Troy has been very generous. Um, so this is a good time to remind everyone that uh, anytime I receive a letter or any kind of correspondence, I keep all of that. I have every letter that has been sent to me by anyone, whether it's a big long letter or just a, a short little note, I have kept all of it. And let me show you right here. This is it. This big envelope is now getting kind of thick, um, is where I keep uh, every letter that's sent to me. So if if you send me a box of something and you include a letter in it, um, I'll read all of those letters and I'm keeping it in here. The reason I'm keeping these is because I want these as mementos of our time together when this channel was active. And so I've decided first of all to put it in this envelope, which I hope will be large enough, and in large black uh, marker I have uh, put HCT 788 on here, uh, so there's absolutely no mistake about what it is. Uh, because I'm trying to think, you know, about the future, but not just a few years down the road. I'm trying to think about decades down the road um, when, you know, this channel will just be a memory. Um, and, you know, who knows how many times I might move between, you know, now and 20 years from now. Uh, but I don't want to lose this. I don't want this to get mixed up with other um, records or documents. I don't want this to get lost. So I'm trying to make sure that 
we know exactly what it is so it doesn't get lost this is something that when I'm old and gray and I'm in the retirement home I want this with me so that I can read uh, the letters from you guys and remember the fun times we had uh, because this has become a really amazing part of my life much more so than I ever thought it would be so uh, the fact that uh, Troy would send this um, Christmas card to me is very thoughtful and it's it's not going to be forgotten it's going to re be remembered years and years from now so I've already read the letter thank you Troy uh, and I'm putting it in the envelope right here so it will never be lost. We have a box uh, with stuff in it, and this is from Peter Chickwick, Chickawack. I'm sorry if I'm mis mispronouncing your name. Uh, Peter, um, who includes a letter. Um, and uh, he says that uh, here are parts um, I had for the Cobra Sea Ray, recently purchased a huge lot of vintage Joe parts and have been just spreading the love to people who needed parts. Thank you. Um, I've been through a lot in this life and I'm happy to help. Um, I also want you to throw, um, want you to know that I love your YouTube channel. Thank you very much and really appreciate what you're doing there. Thanks sincerely, Peter Chickwack. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, uh, but you are very kind to send this to me, so thank you very much, um, uh, Peter. Um, and as some of you may recall, um, Mike Smith sent me um, a boxed Cobra Sea Ray, uh, which I opened and assembled. Uh, some of the parts were not in perfect condition. Uh, Mike sent me some replacement parts, uh, and now Peter also sends me some Sea Ray parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, kit bash my Sea Ray uh, so that when I present it to you on camera with a, in a review, um, I will have the the best uh, uh, the best example of a Sea Ray that I can with all of the best parts in all the best condition. Um, so um, thank you for these parts, Peter. Oh, and there's like there's a lot of them. Extra missile and the, the pieces for the glider. Um, and there's more. He <laughs> practically sent me a whole Sea Ray. That's amazing. Um, and then the wings, um, I don't want to damage these, but I'm, I am going to try to pop these out so that you can see them. So I now I thank uh, Mike for the uh, for the box Sea Ray um, and uh, Peter for some additional parts and Mike for the parts that he sent to me too. Okay, I think we got them. Uh, so uh, thank you for that. It's amazing how much effort from you guys have gone into the Cobra Sea Ray. So um, I need to review it soon. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and declare that uh, next year, 2019, I will review the Cobra Sea Ray. I'm going to put it on the schedule. It's not going to get by me uh, next year. Um, and in that review, I want to show my appreciation for everyone who has helped. Um, and uh, that, that's going to be a review that is dedicated to all of you who have done this, who have sent in things to the channel uh, just to help me out and to help me make these reviews. So uh, thank you to all of you and thank you to Peter for this. All right, let's not forget that Peter's letter goes in the envelope too. So we'll not lose that. Uh, and now we're going to go to something that was sent to me by a longtime friend of the channel, uh, by Byron Kellogg, uh, who also has his own uh, YouTube channel, uh, Joe, Fan, uh, Joe Motion Videos 82. Uh, Byron has been a friend of the channel and a friend of mine for quite some time now, uh, and he's just one of the nicest guys. So um, I always appreciate Byron's help, um, his input, um, and he's just a really, really decent person. So. Um, that's really important to me, uh, being, you know, being good, uh, being kind and thoughtful and um, generous and um, helpful. Uh, these things to me are more important than, than like what kind of toys you like. Um, I hope that we all enjoy, you know, going through these G.I. Joe toys and, you know, remembering fun times with G.I. Joe. Um, some of you are building your own collection, but um, you know, 
to me, being a good and decent person is more important than all of those things. So uh, thank you, Byron. Thank you for being a good guy. And thank you for all the help that you've given me in this channel. Uh, this channel. So thank you. Uh, and Byron sends to me something that is packed with a lot of shredded paper. So I'm be very careful to remove this so I don't get the shredded paper everywhere. All right. He sends a box of G.I. Joe trading cards. And what's really cool about this is it is still sealed in uh, the plastic uh, wrapping. It's, uh, this has never been opened at all. Um, and of course, it's got that nice artwork from the trading card set. And I'm not going to open this. Um, somebody went through all the trouble to preserve this, you know, still sealed in the plastic. Um, I'm, I'm just not going to open it. I, I want to keep it uh, preserved the way that it is. Uh, so thank you, Byron. Uh, thank you for this. But more importantly, uh, thank you for being a really cool guy, and thank you for your help. Um, you, you've helped me a lot along the way, and I appreciate it. So uh, thanks, Byron, for this. And uh, you know, uh, good luck with your own YouTube channel, uh, and thank you for your help with this one. All right, Byron did not include a letter, but I can promise you there are all, already several correspondences from Byron uh, in this envelope. So um, that is uh, something that... Um, I look forward to reading again uh, years and years down the road. So now let's move on to the next one. All right, uh, this next one is donated from someone who uh, just wants to be credited as an anonymous donor who works at Cryptic Studios. So that's very mysterious. Let's see what he could have sent. I have two boxes. There is this one. There's that. And this other one's kind of heavy. Hang on. Uh. Oh, oh. Whatever could be in these boxes. Okay, I had to kind of make room. Okay, what's in these boxes is amazing. What's in these boxes is essentially the entire G.I. Joe comic book run from Marvel Comics. Uh, both the main series and uh, special mission series uh, and the uh, Order of Battle series with some extras, with some extras. First of all, he sends this um, copy of uh, City of Heroes, issue number one, uh, which looks pretty cool. It's got some nice artwork in it. So I am going to read that later. Nice, okay, cool. Um, and like this is a, this is a, a book. And we've got a couple, a couple of these Marvel Treasury Editions. One's in better shape than the other. Marvel Treasury Editions of no, issue number one of the G.I. Joe comic book. Uh, and these are cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and the rest of the stuff in here is just like, it's, it's everything. It's everything is here. Uh, hold on, let me find some of it for you. Um, he did say that there might uh, there might be a couple missing issues, like somewhere in the in the one hundreds. But um, the uh, ones that are missing from here, I think uh, I already have them. So what this represents is I now, for the first time in my life, have the entire uh, Marvel Comics GI Joe run, um, every issue, um, and like and like stuff like this. This is a licensed book through Blackthorn Publishing, um, official How to Draw G.I. Joe. That's just cool. These are just extra stuff that's in here, and it's amazing. But I'm, I'm trying to find, let's see, they're a little bit out of order, sorry. Um, but yeah, starting right here, starting with issue number one. I've mentioned before, I didn't uh, start writing or start reading the G.I. Joe comic book series until somewhere I... Um, I think late in the first year, um, I just didn't know about it. I didn't see it. Um, so when I, of course, when I first saw the comic book series, I, you know, I became a regular reader, but um, I missed out on some of the early issues. And so, you know, I would read them in uh, back issues or uh, reprints or like the Tales of G.I. Joe, which reprinted the early issues. So I was able to read all of them, but uh, like issue number one, um, I came in a little too late in the game to actually have that first issue. So um, issue number one, issue number two, um, let's, 
I know there are certain issues that some of you are going to uh, ask about. Um, so, yeah, there are two copies of issue number 21, the silent issue. Um, yeah, it, it, this is this was overwhelming. Uh, when I opened the box and saw what it was, I, you know, there there are some occasions where you kind of you get weak in the knees when you just you can't believe what you're what you're seeing, and that's how I felt. I was I was shocked and stunned and amazed and bewildered. You know, origin of snake eyes, parts one and two, um, all these classic issues. Which, I mean, I had some of them, you know, loose copies, but I had been relying on reprints a lot for my reviews. Um, but, uh, but now, I mean, they're all here. They're all here. Um, the nearly impossible to find issue number 155, um, the final issue is in here somewhere, because I know, because I saw it. Um, hold on. I'll find it. I'll find it. I want to sh I I'm so amazed by this. I want to show everyone all of it. Uh, yeah, there's where GI Joe had Transformers in it. Uh, we'll just we'll just gloss over that. Um, 151. It's in here. I know it's in here because I pulled it out and I looked at it. Um, yeah, there it is. Yeah, there's issue number 155. That one's really uh, a hard one to find. Uh, the whole special mission series is in here. Um, all of the yearbooks, all of the yearbooks are in here. Um, uh, Order of Battle is in here. Um, I think about the only thing that isn't in here is like uh, GI Joe versus Transformers. Uh, but virtually everything else that was published by Mar Marvel Comics is here. Uh, this other box has um, a lot of the, the uh, well, okay, so, some of the issues in like the, the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and some of the special missions issues were in here too. Um, yeah, uh, well, except I pulled out the special missions issues already. So, you know, this, this uh, completes out the set. Um, and uh, I, I would like to thank Anonymous. Um, this is really overwhelming. Um, I have been wanting, as soon as I got this, I wanted to show you guys right away, but I wanted to wait for this special unboxing video so everyone could see it. Um, uh, so thank you for that. Uh, this is extremely generous, and I'm going to try to make good use of it. Um, since I have um, always you know, had gaps in my collection, um, I've never actually sat down and read the whole thing start to finish. Um, I've, you know, I have read every issue. I have read every issue, but not all together, not all in a row in the correct sequential order. Uh, but since I have these, uh, I kind of want to do that. That's what I want to do with these. I want to read every single one of them. Um, uh, so uh, this is the first time I've really had the opportunity to do that. Uh, thank you. This is this comic book series. I, I can't uh, overstate how important this was to me. Uh, this was um, this was like the core of GI Joe to me. Um, it um, it influenced not just my uh, playtime with GI Joe toys, but it influenced my life in a lot of ways. Um, it introduced me to concepts that I didn't know about, um, and it introduced me to ways of looking at the world that I might not have otherwise uh, seen. And it, I don't want to overstate it, but it, it, it kind of kick started me on a lifetime of learning. Um, so, this is, uh, I have to thank Larry Hama for that, uh, for writing. Uh, a series that was much more intelligent than it needed to be for, you know, a, a children's um, children's toy line. Uh, I have to thank him for putting the effort into it, but thank you to um, Anonymous for uh, for this. Uh, and that that's it. That's all I have to show you. But uh, 
that's a lot. Uh, so thank you to everyone who sent stuff to me this month. Uh, thank you f for everyone who's ever sent anything to me. Um, I do this for you. You know, I, I used to love G.I. Joe when I was a kid, and I would have been blown away if somebody had told me that, you know, um, all these decades later, I would be here sitting in front of a camera and talking about this stuff still, and actually having a lot of it in my possession, and I would still have the comic books to read, and I would still be um, enjoying these things all these years later. That kind of thing would just have seemed like an impossible dream, but here it is, and that has been made possible by everyone who watches these videos uh, everyone who has uh, befriended me on this journey uh, and um, if I say too much I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get misty eyed this is special to me so um, thank you uh, I hope everyone has a great holiday um, you know I hope everyone keeps in mind that um, there are uh, uh, people out there that are less fortunate um, and everything that we can do to try to you know, make the world a little bit of a better place, we should do. And so um, keep that in mind this holiday season. And um, also please keep in mind my thanks and appreciation for you. So uh, if I get anything uh, in January, um, I'll do another one of these unboxing videos. Um, but keep an eye out for a post office uh, box. As soon as I get that, I'll post that everywhere so you... You know, then you don't have to ask me where to send stuff. Um, it'll be posted and you know readily available for uh, anyone who would like to donate. So, thanks everyone, and um, I will see you soon with uh, another GI Joe toy review. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too.